Well, hundreds of millions of dollars in federal grants headed to all Indiana counties. The Economic Development Program is funded by the American Rescue Plan. CBS4 State House reporter Kristen Eskow has more on where that money is going tonight. Kristen, it will fund some major projects in central Indiana. Yeah, that's right, Bob. These are massive grants that will finance construction of housing, businesses, and amenities like parks. Some communities are also using the funding for infrastructure projects. The goal behind the program is to help each region of Indiana grow by attracting visitors, new residents, and businesses. Across Indiana, big ideas for new construction are a step closer to becoming a reality, thanks to $500 million focused on economic development. In the Evansville area, officials are looking to address the need for more housing. Housing projects in places like Gibson County and Princeton, uh, housing projects in Mount Vernon. Greg Wathen runs the Evansville Regional Economic Partnership, which represents four southwest Indiana counties and has been awarded $50 million. To receive the funding, his team submitted proposals for several projects, including new housing developments, businesses and apartments on the Ohio River, and a robotics training center. When you look at our economy, the two largest sectors by far are advanced manufacturing, health and life science, and you need robotics for both. The grants are funded by the federal government's American Rescue Plan. Indiana's counties divided themselves into 17 regions to apply for the grants of up to $50 million each. The goal is to spur new economic growth through projects to attract new visitors, residents, and businesses. In Fishers, officials are looking to use some of the funds to help build a brand new 100-acre park along the White River. Well, we think there's at least uh, 50 to $100 million of private development that would coincide with the development of the park. The money is aimed at funding projects in towns both large and small. In northeast Indiana, officials plan to use part of their region's $50 million grant for downtown revitalization in multiple places, not just Fort Wayne. We're surrounded by 11 different counties, and so each of those counties has at least one one major second class or third class city in it. Um, and those are the hearts of those individual communities and counties. Now, state officials say the requested grants triple the money that was actually available. Next in the process, the Indiana Economic Development Corporation will work with communities to make sure they're following all of the federal requirements for using the grants. Local officials tell me they'll be able to start drawing up plans for new construction within the next few months. Live in the newsroom, Kristen Eskow, CBS 4 News. Kristen, thank you.